Most stores get a 10 to 15% increase in revenue instantly when they install this app. Let's make your store one of them. Hey, look, if that's something you're after, you're in the right place. You're in good hands. I'm Ty Chapman. I'm one of the co-founders of this app. I work with eight-figure e-com stores, um, a digital marketing strategist. I've got a lot of extensive knowledge. And look, this app is blowing up stores. And we're just here to help blow up yours. Today, I'm going to show you my favorite ways to set up campaigns and the simple techniques that big stores are using to absolutely dominate their upsells that you can implement today. If you have any questions, Feel free to reach out to the team. There's a little chat box in the corner. We're here for you. All right, let's get into it. All righty, guys, here we go. So when you first open the app, you're gonna see our dashboard. It's gonna give you an epic summary of all the flippant awesome upsells that we're getting for you. Now, um, something to take note of is this nice little total ROI number right here. Hopefully it breaks for you, it gets too big because it has for some stores. <laughs> Moving on, let's go straight to settings and start setting up our cart. Here we go. Look at this beautiful preview over on the right here. Basically, if you click the on button up the top here, this will appear on your store. If it doesn't, just reach out to the chat and the team will be there to help set it up quickly for you. Something to note is every time you turn the cart off and on, it basically injects and takes away a little piece of code from your theme. So when it's off, it's not affecting your theme, but when it's on, it's just got a tiny little bit of code that doesn't slow down your theme. Now let's make our cart match our store brand. The way you do that is just come through here and just change the fonts. You can change the colors of the buttons. Really simple to do. I'm not going to teach you everything. Boom, boom, boom. Just make it match everything that you've got going on your store. You can also add this scarcity timer to add a little bit of scarcity, but not too much to scare away customers to make sure that they're clicking that checkout button. And once we're happy, we just click the save button. Now we've got our cart set up. We're going to start setting up our upsells. And to do that, we move to the campaign section. Now, you're not going to see any campaigns in here yet, but I want to give you a quick overview of the different campaign types that you can be using. One check upsell, which is this little tick button down here. We've got add to unlock, which is this progress bar up here that communicates the goals that the customer can unlock. So like free shipping or discounts that's coupled with a frequently bought together module down the bottom here with suggested products. And then we've got buy more, save more, which gives customers discounts when they add multiples of the same product to their cart. What I suggest to everyone is that you start with an add to unlock campaign. And then depending on your store, you add some one check up sales or buy more, save more. The add to unlock campaigns are extremely powerful. This campaign normally increases the revenue of stores by 10 to 20%. What I'm gonna do is help you set it up really quickly. Click on new campaign, give it a name, make sure the add to unlock campaign is selected. Now I suggest one campaign that covers all products on your store to start with. Now we come down here and choose a mounting cart, and then think about our spend goal. What we want to do is make our first spend goal a little bit higher than the average order value on your store. If your average of order value is $50, you want to make the spend goal around $60 or $70. What you've got to be thinking in the back of your mind is the customer needs to be able to reach the spend goal with one click, one more product added to their cart. That's how you're going to get the most out of this campaign. Now, I suggest every store at least do free shipping. You don't need to do a discount if you don't want to. Also, what you have to know is that Monster Upsells doesn't actually handle free shipping for you. It just communicates it. You have to actually set up your free shipping settings in your store settings. Now, we're going to come down here. I'm not going to change any of the settings. They're all pretty good. Also, note you can actually add multiple rewards that are going to help you even increase your average order value even more. I'm going to have 15% off when you hit $60. We keep scrolling down and at the bottom, make sure you got the frequently bought together module turned on. Now, if you have a store with lots of products and your customers like to browse, I definitely recommend using Shopify recommendations. So what that does is it uses the power of Shopify's machine learning to actually recommend the products that people are more likely to buy together. But if you have a smaller product range and you've just got a couple of complementary products, that you wanna force customers to be able to choose from, click the specific products. What I re recommend when you're using specific products is make sure they're really easy to understand without having to research more about that product. So something like, do you want batteries for this? Or do you want a cleaning kit to help clean your leather handbag? Or even a mystery product. Mystery products are working incredibly for stores right now. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to leave Shopify recommendations on. Also, I only recommend having one or two products displaying at a time. And that's it. Once we're happy, we just click on save and activate. And then we can come back to the campaign section and we can preview this ad, new ad to unlock campaign right here. 
Look at that. It's beautiful. And right now, it's live on my store. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to give you some quick tips on the other campaign types. One tick upsell. It's designed to add a little bit extra to your cart with just one teeny little tick. The stores that are doing this really well are keeping the product prices of one ticks under $5. They're also using products that are easily understood with just a glance. So things like priority processing, insurance, gift wrapping, warranty. They're products that can pretty much go across the entire store range. Buy more, say more. This campaign is designed to get the customer to add more of the exact same product to their cart. This is not going to work with every single product type. And you also don't want to add it to all products because it can become quite overwhelming having all of these different options in the cart at once. So just keep it really simple. Also, the options of buy two, save 10%, buy three plus, save 15% have been working really well for stores. And that's it, guys. Jump in, have a play. If you have any questions, as I said, click the little checkbox in the corner and we're here, ready to help. Let's increase your revenue. Welcome to the Monster Upsells family. Let's do this. Woo!